Right, I hope you're seeing this. Now, I've got some bits to show you that came today. But then I got this. Um, I've done this set. Remember, I've shown you that one in the last video. And I've also added two lots of brick paper. And it's double-sided. Uh, because it's got the fire that I did. So, I've covered you there for your brickwork. Uh, and if you do it in a kitchen, there's enough paper there to put some brickwork like as a border where the kitchen sink's going to be or something like that. I've done the same for this one as well. I need to put the big board in which I've got right by the side of me. So there's the board for this set. You get a free board, you know, so that you can uh, make something else if you, sh if you want something else for your room. Or if anything breaks you've got enough to redo it. Nothing should, but it is, I've told you before, it's a very delicate card, is this? Now, before I show you that lot, I'm going to move that over there and just take this one out to share with you. These are really good deals, you know. I know some might think it's expensive, but I've had to sit and cut them and, you know, I've had to do them, I've had to make them. And I just thought... I've had to cover the cost of the papers, the bags, it all amounts up and I've done it as cheaply as possible. But you're getting a full room, you know, you don't have to buy it individually, cost a fortune or anything like that. Anyway, so what I've put in, uh, I've done another fire, now this is bigger so that you can cut it down, I've got cut to size, okay? So if you don't want that as high as that, you don't have to have it as high. Now let me now let me move these bits out of the way because I need to show you them individually, and then that way, if you see anything else, you've got a whole sheet of paper to do something with. So let me just check that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll do. Right. So that's the chimney. Now, I have done it taller so you can cut it down uh, to whatever size you want. But the reason why it's that height is because of the style. Now, what I've done is I've done the front panel like that. Of course, um, where are we? Side panel, that's going to go there. And I've not done that as wide as I've done the last one. So sit them on and you sit that on there. Then you've got um, the other side panel there, obviously. Then you've got the top of the fire. That sits on there like that. Then you've got the top plinth. So that's your mantelpiece, which sticks out both ends. Then I've done this. So you can... Um, I need to put the mirror section. Just hold on, because I do have some mirrors somewhere. I do have some mirrors. I mean, I've got the mirror that I cut before, but I wanted to give you... Here we are. Now, you might not want to use a mirror. You might want to have something yourself, but you can have a mirror there if you want it. So I will include that particular mirror. All right. So we can just get rid of that and put that back. Yeah. And you had some somewhere. Right, so you've got that. Uh, you've got a small shelf that can sit underneath the mirror. You've got the... Um, whoops, sorry. Oh, the sides. These, This one, do you remember on the last kitchen one I did? It had side panels like that. So it had sides, so you can put them where you want. There's two there. And then these are the shelf things that hold up the little shelves, the smaller ones for the small shelf and those for the, uh, the rest of them for the two side shelves. So you've got those. And like I said, this was a tiny brick. Or you've got that kind of brick to cover that. And although you can cut it off, I'll put two in so that you can do the whole front as well as the back. So you have plenty of paper in there to go with that. So that's a good deal because um, it saves you having to look for it. Unless you don't want it and you want to make your own, that's fine. But uh, I've done that. So I'm just going to pop this back. And I'll show you the next one. 
I mean, when these rooms are done up, they're like I say, they're similar to what I use myself. They look really, really pretty. Or, you know, it depends what... Are you going to grunge it up? You might want to. You can do it um, shabby chic kitchen. You can do it um, grunge kitchen, Victorian. However you want to do it. Now, I need to just wrap that in some of this. Let me just see. I'm just going to wrap that in there like that one that way and one that way and um, what's she done with the tape in there? and we just fasten that up like that, that's fine and that goes in there as... Oh, I'm going to put those in first. On the side. So everything's there. All you have to do is put it together and design it, you know, um, paint it. That's all you have to do. So that's the fireplace. Now I'm just going to move that out of my way. Uh, next we have a chair. So I've done like a dining room chair because I've got a dining room table. Now, only where the blade went when I was cutting it out, but I've glued onto that wood glue and it strengthened that. It's quite firm that now. But you do have to be careful with all of it. Don't go crushing it about. So this is your dining room chair. Obviously sits like that. Your back panel, uh, your seat panel, sits in there. It was cut from there. And all you do is lift it up and that's your seat. That rests on there, and then you've got these long enough to do your bars. You could do them front, back, and centre, uh, front, back, and both sides. So that's your little seat. There's your uh, backrest. If you want to do a cushioned one, you can make that smaller, so you've got a bit of the wood showing when it's done. Or uh, and that's your cushion for your seat. Or make two cushions for the seat. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. So. Um, they're just fun little projects. And I've tried to include everything you need. And they're all written on what they are. That's a crate. I had a crate to nearly all the projects because you can have them in any room. If it's a shabby sheet bedroom, you can still make a shabby sheet crate. The three shelves again with all the attachments that you need. So your small, medium and large. The kitchen shelf again is... Um, so that's the back of the shelf. That's the uh, shelving side. Wait a minute, where are we? That's the shelf that sits on it. Then you've got that one and the top like that. So they sit like that. Now I've left the sides longer, put these on first and then they cover all of it. You know, so you can completely, it's really hard when you're not gluing them yourself. Like that, like that, and then you've got the shelf that sits in the middle. Now, don't forget, you don't need to have them that wide. If you don't want anything bulky, you can cut them in half. You'll still have a gorgeous unit. So that's the kitchen unit. I've done the kitchen table and put your wooden legs in. So again, kitchen table, that's for the underneath of your kitchen table. That will go there, of course, and then your table leg sits in the corner like that. And your four wooden table legs. So you haven't even had to go and scout around looking for legs for them. I've done it for you. Right, sorry, I wrote sink that way and then put it the, the hole that way, but you can have the sink 
um, drain it that way. So you've got the sink. Now, what you put in there as your plug or whatever is up to you. I'm just giving you the basic side, uh, thing. So you've got your two sides, uh, top and bottom, and your two sides that end. And again, I've done them slightly bigger, the sides. So put those on first, and then you sit them, prop it up against that, like that. But then I've done you a top. It fits perfectly, because it fits on there. Right? So that'll be the top of the sink. So you have a nice edge. Okay? So that's that one. Uh, a storage box, which is, where are we? That's the base, which you can cut to size. I've left it a little bit bigger because you make this up first like that. And it's like a bath. You can either use it as a basket in a bedroom or you can use it as a bin in, uh, you know, potatoes. Put, if it's for the kitchen, like this is a kitchen set, you know, you can put your potatoes in there or whatever it is you're going to do. OK. And then um, the last thing on this one is the dish rack. And it's all marked and ready for you. So I would suggest you put your holes in. I'm All I've done at the moment is to mark where the rack goes, the racking. See, like that, it needs the big tool doing. I was gonna try and put the hole, I might do it actually. Yeah. It's letting me do it, but I don't wanna squash the card. See, like that, and then your racking goes in, you get it level, to be honest, Trim these off so they're all the same length on this, you know, so they're all straight there. And then pop that into there. And then when you go to do the next one, which is that one, that stands there like that. And you push that down into this one. And you do it all the way along. And then add your back on on your sides. And you've got yourself a rack. And I would do this before you put the rest of it together. So you've, uh, you need to cut them flat. To start with, okay. Do you use a sewing needle or something to make your hold if you haven't got a tool. If you buy this, there's enough toothpicks for that. Like I say, it's a nice big rack, so you'll have that on the top. That's up there, and then you've got your sides, but you've also got a shelf at the bottom. So you've got that. Let me just show you. That's at the bottom, that's your bottom shelf. Then you've got your racking and your top piece of racking. And then you've got the bit that goes on the sides. So you've got a nice um, thing to put your dishes on and plates, whatever, above the sink, if you put it above the sink. So that is the new set. And not as much as the other one, obviously. And it comes with um, the wallpaper. And there's no freebies in that one apart from your free wallpaper, your brickwork. So, I don't know what I did with the... Oh, we'll be out the side of it. But you do get that freebie, which is your uh, extra board, OK? You know, really, really good. Um, you won't pick these up for 12 quid anywhere else. This one's £12, uh, £15, I think. And you won't get that ready-made for you, and all you have to do is put it together for 15 quid. I know you won't, because I buy miniatures, besides making a lot of my own. All the hard work's been done for you. Oops, there we go. Yeah. And you certainly won't get freebies with it. So, let me just do this. That's all done ready. So that's another one. I've enjoyed doing them. And I, you know, so we've got a kitchen, we've got a bedroom come kitchen, like a bed sit. <laughs> so these, I showed you this one the other day, which is the um, wood, you know, for wooden floors and that. So when you're doing miniatures, if I'm selling miniatures and I've got enough to do these floors like that, um, I will add those in. 
all different florins. You know, but they'll look good. So that's that one. This again, like I said, is a brickwork one. And lots of different bricks in them. Which we can put to use in our miniatures. This is some die cuts. Now, I just wanted to have a look at this. I don't remember where I bought it all from. It came today and I don't remember actually ordering it. <laughs> I have been waiting for parcels for a long time, though. This is a library one. So, look, if I'm going to do a library and I can just make it look like there's certain things. I love this, the way they put the books, though. Made them into houses. Oh, and the bookshop. It's supposed to be a bookshop. I love this look. And the clock. Oh, and the owl. Oh, another owl. Picture of an owl. Just magic. Telescope. It looks like a wand. Ink. You know, feather. Oh, I don't know what that is. Door panel or something. Um, musical instrument. I can't remember what the name of it is. Lamp. Globe. Oh, door. Uh, what you put your doors on. More clocks. Just various bits and pieces within really, it. I wasn't sure, but um, I'm sure we'll come up with a project for all of that. I'm sure we will. And I'm going to get rid of that because it's no good and put it in a proper bag. Uh, the other thing, again, was the natural wood collection. Again, was just um, different wood papers. But it can be a blessing to have papers, um, especially for miniatures. Like that. So, and that one's called Papers for You Natural Wood Collection. Oh, come on. been at it again all day cutting them things and that and I get tired I work from very early hours you know this one is called uh, magic forest scrapbooking stamp area and you see that and they say oh can you see anybody in it well, I can see lots of things in that lots people Not really my cup of tea, but I can take these figures out and things like that and use them somewhere. Might want to do a journal or something. Love the stag. But yeah, that would do a miniature wall, a featured wall on a miniature room. But that one, that's what I was thinking, that's where my mind was, was uh, doing things for uh, miniatures. So that's that one anyway, and then again, this is a vintage library where the, the all the they came from as well. So look, yeah, nice papers. Not sure, not sure what we'll do with them yet. And then again, these were the. Um, Oh, I can't get them up. Just different papers cut that way, basically. That was one of the things I hated about these papers. You waste such a lot because nothing lined up. And there was always something good on the other side. Ah, like these for labels and that. And those. But yeah. Like I say... I'm sure we can come up with something. I'm sure we can. I 
could be mistaken there, you know. But they do they do they look like they're slightly out, but could be my eyes. <laughs> you ain't got crab eyes. Yeah. But I'm fine with those. I'm sure we can work something out. That'll be projects to come in the future. Not right now, I've too many. I've still got loads to do and I've got commissioned work to do and everything. And it's finding the balance to get everything done. But anyway, I'm uh, still quite content and hurt. loving every minute of what I do. I always do, do I? I might get tired, but hey ho, who doesn't? So, um, just going to pop that there. So, I'm going to use this paper. It's that on that side. I'm not interested in that. It's from the uh, Ladies Diary collection. Now what I do need to do is take that off there, find me a cutting mat, <laughs> get the right nifty knife, and that's an old one. Like I say we do sell the uh, sell craft knife. Now what am I doing? Ruler. So here's my ruler. Now I'm going to be making that dress again. Because um, I can't find the video and somebody said, ask me for it. So I said, yes, I'll do it again. So I do need some water, which I have my little, oh God, I've just done that all over. Have my little spray bottle. Um, and I need a piece of that card. Again. So what I'm going to do is just to cut the shape out. Now, I'm just going to say this, for instance, where are we here? From there to there is a shoulder length, yeah? So I'm just going to do that. Mark it out. Uh, cut my ruler. Make sure I've got that lined up. I'm going to cut it. I don't need too much, just cut that. That's it. And let's just cut this off here. So now what I've got to do is to design where I'm going to have um, it coming in. I think roughly there. So if we do that, yeah, let me just get this right. I just have to put the lines in first so I know how where I'm working. So, so we've got that. I'm going to bring mine in to uh, there, I think. to there yeah so I now need to cut that from there to there without making a hash of it oops oh these Soft rulers are no good whatsoever. Yeah, let's cut that. And then I'm just going to go... Let's have a look. To here. No, I need it further down. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to cut this off. From here to here. So that's that. See, my ruler's not straight now. Are awful these bloody rulers. 
Oh. Look, it's cutting into the ruler. <sighs> That's not straight. Just ignore me, because I'd get frustrated. So it's going from that corner to that one. Like that, that'll do. I don't have to worry about it or anything. Just ah, that'll do. Don't have to be perfect. Uh, so now what I'm going to do to cut the fabric, we're going to say this is fabric now. So I need to measure. Let me just find, I need a different ruler. Where's my metal one? Here's my other metal one. This will do, I think. So, um, I'm going to do three layers. And we're going to do a layer at... Um, so that's one there. And one there. I just need to cut that from there to there. Um, that didn't even go straight that much. Oh, and you see where it went, where it started to go off. That's it. So that's a six centimetre one. Now I want a different one to go in between. So now I've got this one. I'm going to just move that to one side and that one. And this time I'm going to do a 10 centimetre. So we're doing a 6 and a 10. And cut that across. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to need. So that's going to lay on top of that with this underneath and that's going to have that colour. Yeah, so it's going to have to go. We can do one more. We can do one more layer and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this colour. Uh, so now what I need to do is two cent. Uh, no, we'll do a three centimetre. You'll see what I'm doing. I have done this before and it's a gorgeous thing. But you can put it on a card. So this is great for card makers. There we go that to one side I do need so what we've got is three six and ten now the other thing I need to do is to make sure that I cover sorry I'm just gonna have to put this to one side that I cover the bodice and I only need to cover the top section now let me just see I'm going to just <laughs> do this take that from the middle like that and do that right. just to give it a little bit of shape and I'm happy with that Okay, so all I've got to do now is to attach this 
I might only need it to there. Okay. We'll take that off. I just want to make sure I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> right I hope I've done it right yeah so we can just glue that on now um, I'm going to use a triple thick not the hot glue just put that on like that Let me just find something to wipe my finger on. And then let me sit that on there. Like that. What's fine about that, doesn't matter if it goes over slightly. What I'll do, I think. I'm fine with that. So we've got that, but I do need a very, very small strip of this. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. Okay. There we go. A little bit tedious, but it works. So, take the water like that. I'm going to move that into that. Wipe it clean. I think just wipe it, you know, as much off, excess off as you can get. And then what you do with this, very carefully scrunch. Because you don't want it to rip. Now, while I'm doing the rest, leave that to dry. So leave that to one side. And then what we do is I'm going to soak this one. Now, part of the reason why we do that before um, we after we've wet it and before we dry it is because it basically gets you the 
rough shape that you need for the paper and then I just go in and I just fold it smaller you know the pleats just fold them slightly smaller Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the, this one first, like that. So you just, and we'll do that as well, we'll fill that in. We can cut an, off any excess that we don't want, so I'm just going to put that on there and press that right down. Now, I do need to make sure I have that done <sighs> to really press that down that's fine don't cut anything off yet there's probably enough here to do two to be honest but I'm not fussed and then we put that on and again press that down like that and then the last one we're just going to put on there like that move that up slightly I'm fine with that but then this is where I like to see it come together You only need to go from there, okay, up to the corner, up to there, and then you do it from there to there. Never mind the bits, we can get rid of them. And then we just do it this side as well. So you're only going from and then that one. And then that one. From there. To there. See like that? We can sort that out, that's nothing. Cut that like that, and we do the same on this side. There's my little scissors, and then all you do is you just Squash all of that in and squash that down. See like that. Whoops, that needs to be brought round like that.
just going to bring that out like that. Glue this section down as well. And we can just open this. And we open that bit up. And then you take out the small piece that I did before. And you just start and glue that on into little frills. You can only take it up to there. And pull that back slightly. Oops, see that snapped that, but that doesn't matter. We can pull that back. That's nothing, we can get rid of that. And join this back up. Let me just get this again. Join that back up there. And then you just hold in all your frills again. To get to there. Now I'm just going to cut that, glue that bit down, and trim that bit off. Like that. See, it just looks like a little frill. And then for this, we can just use as a band across the stomach there. Which I'm just going to do using that there. And we'll just pin that over like that. And there you go. You've got a perfect little gown. Oops. And then you can add your little trimmings in and whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put in... Oh. I'm going to have a little gem just there nice and small and see if we can match one up on the band on the waistband yeah maybe we can do that a little bit bigger on the waistband Like that. And I'm sure anyone can do this. Anyone. And there you go. You've got a nice little outfit that you can use on your card. Now I've done that, that was my fault, so I'm just going to glue that back in. Yeah, I'm sure anyone can use that. And then you can hang them if you want. You even put them as tree decorations. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.